<laughs> I think I'm right, though. I think that's she studies marine biology in school. You know where they live. Did you want to keep studying? <laughs> I do know where they live. Like, what um, the fuck are they doing? <laughs> I, Maybe they're going to move. I don't know. <laughs> what are you going to school for? Marine biology. You're in Akron, Ohio, huh? Right? <laughs> yeah, the Akron yeah. crab. <laughs> the, the unknown, you know, middle of the country crustacean. Yeah, that I never even considered some a career path like that. Did, when you were actually like, I don't know, of the age to like start heading in a direction or, or pick a thing to do. Did any did anything like marine biology ever even occur to you? No, no but I'm really stuck on that. So this is this is a little bit of uh, real life doxing here. There's a person in my universe who um, he's athletic, he's young, and uh, he wants to be a stunt man. But he doesn't live in Hollywood, and that's his aspiration. And I'm kind of like, no, you can't be. In the same way that you can't be a rock star, you can't be a pro athlete, you can't be a stunt man. This is Atlanta not would do that you're gonna get. Uh, he come. He actually has had jobs in Atlanta, a very small one. And um, so that like, there's a the ver- I was raised by Stanley P. Stanley P. Said. Like even business is an unacceptable major. You get one that really prepares you for a job, like accounting or engineering mm-hmm. or medical school or something. You know, something generic like business. Like that's not even a that's not a job preparation major. And advice. the idea, maybe I don't yeah, know. Well, we're sitting here making a living on YouTube, yeah. <laughs> telling people that they can't chase their dreams, and that puts me like that. That's a really weird situation for me. Like I don't know what. The right advice is go be. There are people out there who are stunt man. Stunt man. Why not you? Maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Yeah. I, I I see. I think stunt man is one in particular that like, if you want to do that, you can do that because you need to look a certain way. I bet like there's not one guy who could be the stunt man for everyone. You no. know, there, there, there's not. A, I'm sure there's one guy out there who's just the fucking best, and they're like, oh yeah, I wish we could get Brad to do this, but obviously Brad doesn't look like a small girl or mm-hmm. an old man. He looks like. Thor, God of Thunder. So he right. will be that guy's. You know, he's, he'll do Marvel stuff. Mm-hmm. But there's there's a room for everybody. If you're a 130 pound like guy, if you're an overweight woman, like I'm sure there's stunt work for you. <laughs> you think that's a? Yeah. You think that's like a long term career? Like, yeah, they, I think it's a way to get in the door to like more middling type roles and like like look if you're on set and you're already like there to be on screen to do one thing and they're like ah we need somebody. Could, could you want to read a line with you could easily get like a, a small role somewhere and get the ball rolling with an acting career that yeah, seems maybe like you're such right. a great way to start I, I was imagining like those guys getting treated like shit like being treated disposable almost like yeah only, you get up there and do the fucking dangerous thing the only but time i've heard of that is like from specifically steven seagal being the biggest piece of shit mm-hmm. to stuck in ever because he'd hit him for real because he thinks it looks better so he just fucking womp you <laughs> his movies look terrible no, they look pretty legit. Is the the martial arts stuff? I mean, it is that bendy stuff. But when he's hitting people in the face, you're like, "Shit, that <laughs> did you just hit him?" <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Well, and he like you um, said before, he owns his own company. So like, what? Someone gonna fire him? Like, seems like a scumbag piece. Open of mouth. Shit. He's we were talking about something before the career thing about. The oh yeah, stuff. marine oh, biology. Marine biology. Yes. Yeah, that's marine a biology. In the middle. Right. Like, if you want to be a marine biologist, like, is there jobs for that? I don't even know. It's like, like is it like being history teacher where there's some but a lot of people don't end up getting the job that they thought they would I, i'll yeah. tell you what i think i think that if you have the whatever degree there is in marine biology um mm-hmm. i i think you gotta go out there and start looking you would hope that you're at a big enough school that mm-hmm. there's like connections to be made that your professors are like you know you'd be perfect over at sea world they need someone to lie for them and get paid to do it <laughs> I love lying and getting paid to do it. Sure, I have no moms. I never did this. I'm not in this for the fish. I'm in it for the dollars. Maybe a lot of people <laughs> for all that like, money. would want to work at SeaWorld and and like a lot of highly desirable jobs, people do it for low prices. Yeah. I, know, and, and that sucks. I don't know. I'm thinking mm-hmm. of the kind of marine biologist who's like somehow getting paid by a university to go do field testing. Like I'm out here getting paid a good salary to be on a boat taking measurements of tuna and fucking off off of the mm-hmm. waters of alaska but next year i'll be south of uh at, off the tip of africa looking right. at you're the guy who's coming up for with a plan to bring back the great barrier reef in australia right i'll that- tell sure we'll bring <laughs> it back for money <laughs> I heard oh, it's coming yeah. back yeah if my is, if my yeah, job is to like make a plan like that it's like free free money it's like come up with a plan to save the great barrier reef it's like or what 
Like, like what? Well, I'm going to come up with a plan that takes goal. 30 years to come to fruition. In 20, I'm retired, idiot. And you're going to pay me the whole time. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. Well, I'm 81, moron. So, so who cares now? My first product would be Little Lisa's Slurry. It does everything. <laughs> Little Lisa Slurry. It, it, well, it was an explosive, uh, a lubricant, uh, yeah. a low-grade fuel, <laughs> and a baby food. <laughs> the baby. You're like, that's everything. A, I, I forgot about that episode. Oh, that's a wonderful that. episode. Yeah. Lisa learns her lesson. <laughs>